So, Paul, Emmy nominee. No matter what happens at the Emmys, you can be called an Emmy winner, but you will forever at least be the Emmy nominated. What does that feel like? Uh, it, it, honestly, it feels great. It's a lovely feeling. <laughs> um, one that takes a little. It, I don't. I like. Look, it, it's a, it's a it's a strange feeling. <laughs> it's great. <though. laughs> what does your family say? What do they say about this? What do I? When the nomination came through, uh, I was desperately trying. My mom is quite like when I used to play sport, my mom used to like come to them football matches, but she wouldn't necessarily watch it. She would like pace around the the ground. So she had gone for a walk on the beach. My dad was somewhere else. So I was trying to uh, voice call everybody on a WhatsApp group, but nobody was picking up. I think they were all kind of screaming. I like it, it when I when I got everybody on the call, it was uh pretty amazing my brother who never cries was crying <laughs> oh, oh that's pretty, sweet pretty lovely yeah old but, older or younger brother younger younger oh that's very yeah. very sweet so when did you know that the show was a hit when did you know like you know what we're doing something we're doing something right here yeah i i think my initial it was, it was probably the weekend that it came out on the BBC when it, when it dropped on the player, all 12 episodes came out. And um, there was a pretty amazing response to the show on social media and things which we were told to avoid. But then I think Lenny told me quite quickly after the show release, he was like, look, this is one of those few times that 95% of the response was positive. So go on, have a look, enjoy it. And uh, yeah. So it was probably the first, the weekend that it dropped on the BBC. And then it drops in the U.S. Drops in the U.S. Yeah. Everyone's home. We can't go yeah. anywhere. Yeah. Not that that's the only reason we watched it, but it definitely helps viewership. Um, mm -hmm. What did that feel? I mean, the U I mean, I remember when it dropped and it just all of a sudden slowly people. Wait, did you see this normal people? Did you see this normal normal people? And then it just builds. Do you feel that? Yeah. You, you totally feel it, especially when it's something that you feel like artistically very proud of and, and you're, you you love the team that you made it with. And you're kind of hoping, because we'd seen the response initially in the UK and we were like, okay, this bodes well. And then it kind of doubled overnight when the, the US, the response in the US was equally as, as huge. So there was kind of like a two week period where it felt like it, like or a huge percentage of my demographic for example were all watching the show or there was a very strong presence uh, on social media with with uh viewers of the show so it was it was, it was incredible too were you surprised daisy didn't get the same love the same attention when it comes to the emmys so, totally like I, I feel like it, it's it's difficult to speak on her behalf so i can only speak on like from my perspective acting with her and she like is extraordinary and and, and yeah it is it is disappointing because i would have loved to have shared that with her so like it, like i'm sharing what the love that i've received with her and i think that it's, it's just it's a i'm disappointed for her but um ultimately it's 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 just the less fun part of this job i think well, what's really fun is you get to go up against uh, Hugh Jackman, Hugh Jackman, yeah. Hugh Jackman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. What? Pretty cool. I know. Like, like, and the best, like, honestly, the best part of it is, is that you're actually looking at somebody who you don't have to pretend, like, he's literally one of my idols. I think the way that he has conducted himself for many years within the industry and anybody who's met him or who I who's to talk to him he is not but a gentleman even when normal people came out or he he got around to watching it and he, he sent me a lovely email this is prior to any wow. kind of nominations or anything and then like we were talking away by email which is an insane sentence to even come out of my mouth but then he sent a gorgeous email again when we were nominated in the same category so I, I think the only disappointment is that I won't get to see him at the ceremony but I just hope I hope like there's some kind of 
we're all put in a zoom box room and like i'll just go talk to him there but uh yeah i i, I don't know well you know what you could do like really mess with people do one of those virtual backgrounds and it's just all hugh jackman <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah totally <laughs> Yeah, how um, how bittersweet is it? It's like, here's your Emmy nomination and you're going to be wearing your pajamas. Look, um, the, the positives definitely outweigh the disappointment. There, there, there really is no disappointment other than the fact that it's a flashy night. You get to wear cool clothes and you get... The real disappointment is getting to meet meet some people, that, lots of people that I, I really admire and kind of taste that for the first time but really it's I'm, I'm just so thrilled that this the show has received four nominations um in total which um which is and it would have been great to share it with everybody there from that team so um yeah the, but definitely the positives outweigh the disappointments for sure so what are you wearing what are you gonna wear <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i'm gonna i might go like so I'm definitely going to go informal on the bottom. Not that anyone is ever <laughs> going to see it, but uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't. What do you What do you think the dress code will be? Like square I mean, casual. There. I mean, the the that first letter that went out was like, you know, we still want you to have fun. I think. It, I mean, yeah. I don't know. Like. Is it weird to be like right now? I'm looking at you and I'm trying to imagine you sitting there in a tuxedo. Yeah, I just on the couch. Like, I might borrow. I might borrow one of your dicky bows. That's okay. <laughs> I'll just wear the dicky bow. <laughs> just the, no, the dicky bow and the Connell chain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Underneath, just uh, yeah. That that'd be quite the combo. And they won't know you'll be wearing the. I was going to say soccer. The the football shorts. The famous football yeah, but, shorts. Look, no one will. No one will ever know. <laughs> <laughs> um and then we of course you know everyone wants a season two mm -hmm. is there any chance any not that you would even tell me if it's being talked about but not that look <laughs> i'd be I, I have a feeling that i would like i i would definitely love to play that character again but i have no kind of feeling or or um understanding that that is a reality um, I think, I think like having heard Lenny and Ed talk about it, like if it was to happen, I think it would happen at some point, not in the immediate future, but kind of give those characters a little bit of um, breathing room to see what happens. I, I, I think, um, <laughs> is that your dog? Two of them because the mailman. The dog, the dog doesn't want me to answer. The dog doesn't Paca. want me to answer. <laughs> okay, keep going. So season two. I can't win with Paul. No, it's 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 totally fine. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I I I like I'd love from an actor's perspective, I'd love to play him again, but I um I don't think people should be holding their breath for it anytime soon, or potentially so, at all. Who knows? <laughs> so someone comes to you right now and says you can work with anyone right now. Your next project, anyone you want, one person. Who is it? Daisy and Lenny on normal people season two. <laughs> that was <laughs> it's so yeah. political. Well, I set you up for that. I really did. Yeah. <laughs> and then we of course have to talk about those that other famous group that you're involved with. What are their names? The Rolling Rocks. Oh, Rolling Stones. Yes. Rolling Rocks. Yeah. yeah. You star yeah. in a Rolling Stone music video. It's cool. <laughs> I yeah. I. <laughs> It's it's really hard to talk about because it was just really like a like such a cool thing to get to have done, and I was also just dying to do some form of work during lockdown, and that was a pretty pretty exciting one to be involved with. Was that just all your dancing, or was it choreographed, or you just we we worked free? with a with a with a movement director, but I think the the intention was to keep it like not choreographed there was one shot that there was a full-on uh dance routine down the stairs then into lifting the camera it was which was really fun which i really enjoyed um but but mostly it was kind of just going nuts and kind of 
I, I would do something and then move and direct be like, oh yeah, that 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 idea that you're playing was fun. So go a little bit more crazy. So is it your agent, your manager? Who sends you an email or calls you and say, by the way, Mick Jagger is requesting? Yeah, it was it, it was it was it was yeah it was from came through my agents and they they had sent the breakdown and they were like it's a rolling stones document uh, or it's a rolling stones uh music video what do you think and i was like is there is there a conversation really to be <laughs> to be had here um but yeah uh, like it's one that i'll definitely look back on and be like oh i did that thing and it was a really and also just doing a music video is a really fun it's it's not kind of really part of the gig that you ever think you're like but it, it's it's a form that i really find interesting and kind of demands different different parts of what you can do as an actor i think are you already thinking about wanting to direct one day um, <laughs> not for a long i think i i think i would like to at some part distant just far away <laughs> essentially um yeah I, I i think it helps when you work with um directors like lenny and, and hetty when you're like okay the way that they work with actors is it is what i what I, I imagine if i was a director would be the really fun part and, that, and that's what i saw in them but uh, lots lots of sets to be on before then before i know what the hell is going on <laughs> in the director's head when they're thinking of they must be jog- juggling about like a hundred different things in their head. And, I- and I'm only able to really do the one thing when I'm on set. And now tell me about the first audition you ever went on. First, first audition. I definitely did. First, I, I can't, I genuinely can't. I did like small auditions for like pantomimes when I was very young. Cannot remember them. Blind panic. Uh, and then the first professional audition I went on was in my final year in drama school. We were doing a play called Mojo by Jez Butterworth. And the artistic director of The Gate came to see it. And they were, she was casting uh, The Great Gatsby, a kind of immersive uh, production of that. And I auditioned for it. And it was pretty fun. And you got it. Yeah, yeah. That was my first job as well. So what was your audition? What did you have to do? We had to, so th- the nature was, I can't, we did, it was weird. I went for the audition in the morning and then I went back to college and then I had to go back for the callback. So by the time my phone wasn't working at the time. So when I went back to college, they were like, okay, you have to go back for a callback. And I remember just being like, oh my God, this is not supposed to happen <laughs> and also i felt i was at the time probably definitely 10 years too young to play him on paper so it wasn't something that i felt was even a reality when i went for the first audition but then i when i went back to the callback, i was like oh god i really really want this and so for the audition we did scenes with tom it was gatsby tom scenes and they were full on and i was like everyone was reading from sides and uh I can't, I can't really remember. I just remember being like, feeling like the, it was the start of what being a professional actor looked like. And it was really exciting. And being around actors, which was really strange, being around actors that like, as when you were in college and you go to see plays around Dublin, you were suddenly in an audition room with them because it was kind of a group audition. And I was like, it definitely, definitely a lot of kind of faking it till you make it kind of vibes in there with me anyway. And look at where you are now. You're on your couch and you get to talk to me <laughs> multiple times. <laughs> That's the goal.